There is a common misconception that Neanderthals were hunched over. But according to new scientific research, not only were Neanderthals not hunched over, but they actually had better posture and stood up straighter than we do. Scientists did recreate this 3D reconstruction of a Neanderthal thorax, and they used quite meticulous methods to do so. They had to use CT scans of every vertebrae and every rib bone of a 60,000-year-old Neanderthal skeleton, the most complete Neanderthal skeleton that we have. And then they had to reconstruct each piece of bone for a 3D model. So when scientists recreate Neanderthals, they actually do go through a scientific process. And the reason why I bring this up is because there are still people that believe in pseudoscientific theories about Neanderthals, including the Neanderthal predation theory made by Danny Vendermini. Now, Danny Vendermini is not a scientist. He's a pseudoscientist. And he thinks that Neanderthals looked radically different from the way scientists say they do. Danny Vendermini claimed that Neanderthals were hunched over the way chimps are hunched over. This is the way Danny Vendermini proposed Neanderthals look like. Now, he did not use any CT scans or advanced 3D imaging to come up with this. In fact, he didn't go to any forensic scientists to make his reconstructions of Neanderthals. Instead, he went to a guy that does special effects for Hollywood movies. And the guy he chose does seem to be a guy that is pretty good at making special effects and making these scary looking monsters for the movies, but he is not a scientist. And this is part of the reason why Danny Vendermini is not taken seriously in the scientific community because he was totally wrong. I bring this up because the very first video I made for this channel was a video debunking the Neanderthal predation theory, which is a pseudoscientific theory that Danny Vendermini had. And he thought that these Neanderthals were especially hunched over. And this new evidence does show that, in fact, Danny Vendermini was wrong because Neanderthals actually stood up straighter than we do. So his remodeling of the Neanderthals was totally false. Now, if you want to watch my remake of the original video I did debunking Danny Vendermini's theory, I'll leave a link to it in the description. The people who are believing Danny Vendermini are the people who are easily manipulated by pseudoscience. Pictured on the left is the scientific 3D reconstruction of the Neanderthal spine that scientists did for the paper that was published in a peer-reviewed journal in October of 2018. I will link to this paper in the description. The blue bones are the top rib bones. You can just ignore those. On the right is the Homo sapiens spine, our spine, and as you can see, our spine is actually a lot more serpentine, a lot more twisted, if you will, than the Neanderthal spine is, which is much straighter than ours. According to Patricia Kramer, the chair of the University of Washington's Department of Anthropology and one of the co-authors of this recent study, the Neanderthal spine actually turned out to be far straighter than scientists even expected. A modern human has a tremendous curve here. We thought that all hominins were going to have this lumbar curvature, at least to some extent. But what we found with Neanderthals is this shape here is straight. Because ribs and vertebrae of ancient fossils have a tendency to be fragile, it was necessary to create this virtual 3D model of the Neanderthal thorax in order to determine that they stood up as straight as they actually did. The authors of the study also said that the Neanderthal thorax was wider at the bottom than ours was. This means that Neanderthals could probably rely on using their diaphragm for breathing more than Homo sapiens could. Now, Homo sapiens do use their diaphragms for breathing, but they also use their chests this new evidence about Neanderthal posture is yet another nail in the coffin for Danny Vendermini's Neanderthal predation theory. Danny Vendermini said that Neanderthals were very hunched over, even more hunched over than scientists had previously thought. 
This evidence, using scientific 3D modeling, goes far beyond the so-called reconstructions that Danny Vindermini made. Danny Vindermini did not do any CT scans of real Neanderthal bones, and Danny Vindermini actually used a guy in the entertainment industry to make so-called scientific reconstructions of Neanderthals. The more scientists learn about Neanderthals, it seems, the less likely Danny Vindermini's Neanderthal predation theory was correct. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon for notifications, and together we shall take over the world. I upload four times a month. You can also catch me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at ZorkMid123, and I also broadcast on YouTube and Twitch on ZorkMid123.